Hey guys, my day is done. I'm in the car and uh, I'm lost. I'm looking for a gas station. See, there are car rental companies. If you drop off the car and have them fill it, they overcharge you for what they fill. If you buy the full tank, you never use the whole tank, so they win there. The only way for, for me to win is if I fill up and only pay for what I use at a gas station. But that means I need a gas station close to the airport, which, uh, there isn't one in Minneapolis, at least not one that I could locate. So now I'm going about, it's about seven minutes away from the airport. So I guess that's close enough. Anyways, that's uh, that's what I'm doing now. Get gas for the car rental, then I can return the rental, then I can get to the airport, then I can go through security, and then I can get to my gate and see if I can get an earlier flight. Yeah, the day was good. Awesome day in Minneapolis. That's all. Why, America? Why? So every time I come to the U.S. and I got to get gas for a rental car, my credit card won't be accepted by the uh, the pump. It says enter postal code. And since I don't have a postal code in the U.S., which is really what it's expecting, it won't authorize my card to be used at a pump. I can buy $200 worth of dinner on the card. I can buy hundreds of dollars of stuff at an Apple store. But I can't buy 10 bucks or 5 bucks worth of gas with my credit card. Fix that for me, America. Thank you. So basically, I got to go prepay, then I pump, then in most places I've got to go fill up or uh, go back inside to get my receipt. It's crazy. It's silly. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm normally not one to complain much about anything, but when I see a broken process like that, I wonder what rule or who came up with this like honestly it may even just if you can make it possible to do a transaction of up to fifty dollars with a chip card which is the card i have i have to enter a code which the u.s is just getting into we were there in canada way before it's come here now it's a fantastic security system the problem is if anyone takes your card and knows your code they can get access to you know some of your money now if I use tap to pay, there's a limit. But if you know the, because then with tap to pay, you don't have to enter the code. That's what it is. But in the U.S., if you enter the code, just like in Canada, you it's your credit card. So why not let us do that here? Why ask for my postal code? Like if I buy anything anywhere else, they don't ask what my postal code is. But if I'm buying gas, the machine says, what's your postal code? And I don't have a valid U.S. code and I can't even make one up because it's, so I got to, yeah, you get the picture. I got gas. I'm going to the airport. Got my car checked in and dropped off, and now I'm off to find my way to the terminal. I don't know, not the most streamlined car rental drop off. It works, it was good, it's just the signage could be clearer. Okay, I just realized I gotta grab some food before the flight takes off because I haven't eaten since lunch. Amazing how quick it gets dark out here. Sky. Made it to the airport. Had a great supper. Just hanging out at the gate now. We're going to be boarding like any minute. We're already boarding the priority people and all that. I'll be pretty much the last guy to board. But it's all good. Looking forward to seeing Tammy. I think the kids will probably be asleep when I get home. So I'll see them tomorrow night. Made it to Calgary. Just on my way to Customs. It's crazy how long they make us walk. And there's, they got some moving walkways. But uh, not enough. Alright. Clear Customs. Get home. Get to bed. Sleep fast. That's the plan.